Listen up guys, I've done it again. I forgot to mention on location whilst cleaning my van that this video is sponsored by Squarespace. So if you need a video, no, if you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash Heaton. So, I'm starting today's video by having a bit of a clear up of the van. It's, it's almost a pointless task because in winter, as soon as I get in the van, you know, I've got mud and snow all over my boots and all that snow comes into the van, turns the water, everything gets wet. It's a bit of a nightmare to be honest, but if I didn't clean it, it would just build up and build up. And I think by having a fresh clean van, and that kind of puts me in the mindset of a fresh start and uh, you know, that translates to photography, so yeah, good good clean of the van. The van's a bit more crowded than usual, shall we say. Obviously it's just me in here, but with it being winter, I've got so much more stuff than I would normally have. Big jackets, extra bags, extra boots, everything gets wet, so yeah, keeping on top of things being clean and tidy and making sure that I fold my bed back to a seat every single day so that when I drive around in the van, it feels organized. You know, organized van, organized mind you know clear van clear mind that's what they say so that's what i'm doing clean the van and then i think it'll be time for some afternoon photography and uh yeah it's a beautiful beautiful day better now clean van so it's ready to see if we can find a photograph it's an absolutely gorgeous day blue skies everywhere's covered in snow it's midday so i'm not got any high hopes but i'm just gonna have a drive around see what i see maybe find a nice location for sunset or something like that we're just gonna go for it just gonna go for a drive see attack for this afternoon or it's lunchtime anyway it's quite simple it's to drive around see what looks cool if I can pull over do so and see if we can get a shot so what I saw was uh, quite simple we've got all of this mist and fog hanging around it's a beautiful tree just behind me there, covered in hoarfrost, but it doesn't work for a composition. I, uh, I had a quick look, but there's this mountain just here, emerging from the fog. I thought for a very simple, minimalist composition, that, which I don't think you can see, but pretty cool. It's going to be a quick snapshot, nothing fancy, but definitely worth grabbing. So there's uh, not much to say here really. Like I say, it's just pretty much see something cool from the road, run out, see if you can grab it and move on because things are changing so quickly and there's just so much to shoot. I'm really trying to take advantage of this. So 
beautiful mountain peaks surrounded by mist with just the peak coming through total you know, complete white like a blank canvas and then it fades into blue with the peak of the mountain coming through the mist at the top I, just, I couldn't resist the simplicity of it you know nice and clean uh, maybe go for a square crop maybe not I'm unsure but f11 focus on the mountain no filters and just shield the lens from the sun because it's very harsh and yeah take the shot there's really not much not much more to it than that two second time i can't even show you the back of the screen because the sunlight is far too bright so you'll just have to take my word for it that this composition is as simple as they come there we go job done it's time to move on so you can get something else Oh dear. So it's, uh, it's lovely outside, it really is. But uh, all of that mist and fog just disappeared in an instant. And now I'm, I'm driving around. It's just middle of the day, it's so bright and so white and I'm feeling quite tired uh, because I had an early morning this morning. In fact, this morning was, well, la last week's video where we climbed the mountain. So yeah, a bit confusing, but um, I decided to just pull over. I'm on the main road, so excuse the traffic noise. But I pulled over, just gonna make a coffee, have a biscuit, relax, call my wife, and just give myself an hour because I'm just aimlessly driving. You know, at first I started off really enthusiastic with all the mist, and I got that one shot of the mountain, which I really like. But I was hoping for, you know, something a bit better, a bit more. You know, <laughs> uh, I couldn't find anything. Mist disappeared. Now it's just blue and white, super bright, which is lovely. It's such a nice day, but I am exhausted, so. Cup of coffee, biscuit, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes, relax, bit of downtime and that'll take us through to sunset and we'll see what happens as the sun starts to drop below the horizon. So after my coffee and a, a bit of a rest up, I have come to a an area I want to tell you about. If you come to Glencoe and you're in a camper van or you like to sleep in your car and shoot for photography that way, which I used to do quite a lot and it's, it's great actually, it's better than hotels I think for a night or two. Well, I've been sort of around the Glencoe area now for about a day and a half and for the past 24 hours I've spent most of my time here at the Glencoe Ski center um in their car park because they've got everything they've got everything if you're in a camper van you can just park up and use the car park um you know as a donation box or if you want to hook up to electric it's 15 quid which isn't too bad but they've got showers they've got toilets they've got a drying room which is awesome i've just had a shower uh they've got a cafe full breakfast and a coffee seven quid and it's really really good yeah i mean this is like the perfect location for photography you know we're right in the middle of it and it's just superb so yeah i don't know, I don't know. just a, a little tip if you're uh, in a little camper van or a big motorhome whatever or a car and you're just looking for somewhere to rest up in the in the most beautiful and scenic of areas then you come and crash at the ski center all right it's getting on now late afternoon see what we can see
So it's been, um, I don't know, it's been a fairly uneventful afternoon. I found myself, I don't, I don't really know how to say this, not uninspired, because, well, how can you be uninspired? But I was just driving aimlessly. And that first shot with the mountain in the mist, that was nice. And I thought I'll drive and drive, I'm sure, to see something. And, well, I just didn't see anything. And I drove all the way down to Glencoe and then round Loch Leven. And I was just getting tired and really wasn't in the mood for shooting anything. You know, if, if, if something looked like there may have been a shot there, normally I'd get out and walk over and go and have a look. But I just, I just wanted to sleep, you know? And uh, that's what I was prepared to do. I was prepared to make this video, um, you know, the end of this video anyway, be about, you know, you don't always have to get the shot. And sometimes it's okay to have a bit of time off. But then I was driving down the main road saw this tree just here and I thought it's really bad of me but I thought you know what if there's a car parking space or a lay-by or a little pull-off near that tree I'll go and have a look and lo and behold there was so I pulled over the van came over and had a look and I'm so glad I did because it's just beautiful it's this gorgeous gorgeous tree uh, plastered on one side in snow the side I'm shooting um, and there's a bit of hoarfrost on the on the tops of the tree of uh, the tops of the twigs there the, the top of the tree now it's very very late in the day the sun set about 15 20 minutes ago um, so I knew I'd be up against it but actually um, I think I'm quite lucky because we've got that deep blue sky yet the white snow and the snow on the tree is being lit by the setting sun that sky is much brighter so the light of the sun is reflecting um, back onto the tree on this side, so you get a very, very subtle kind of uh, glow on the tree, so it's ve very well balanced. Um, it's an incredibly simple composition, it, it truly is. Now, I can't make my mind up here in the field, I'm just, I need to look at it on a computer screen, I'm too tired. And I can't decide whether I want the tree dead centre square format, or right hand third 16.9, or right hand third 4.5. Can't decide, so I'm just messing around. And effectively, what you need to know is I'm shooting the tree, it's in the frame somewhere. Um, I'm about 50 mil. I'm not, I'm being careful not to fill the frame too tightly with the tree. The tree needs room to breathe. If you've got a single subject and a minimalist scene, you have to give that subject space. And then the viewer will believe that that space goes on forever and ever and ever, and that's how the world looks. And actually, in this case, it's true, because look, there is nothing around me at all just that tree that is fantastic so let me let me grab the shot now because the light is constantly changing it appears that the sky to the east is getting bluer and darker and richer in color um, and that's you know that's always nice so I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab this shot now let's have a look I'm at f7.1 because I don't have no depth of field really let's see I'm gonna change that because I've taken a few f7.1 I'm gonna go to f9 just to increase my depth of field, just in case there's bits of foreground that's a bit too soft, but I really don't think that's the case, not because I'm shooting at over 50 mil. And checking my histogram, yeah, we're good. And it really is a simple composition. I'm focusing on the tree. Yeah. There we go, just make sure it's nice and sharp. And I've got a, uh, a two second timer on. And it's just really, really, really simple photography. Very simple photography. But I think in conditions like this, it's quite effective photography. And I'm so glad that I came across this marshland. I did fall over, thank you. And uh, pursued this shot, because it's just gorgeous. Just, I'm glad I got that shot. I don't know, it's nice. I honestly thought that today was just sort of turned into a whitewash. Hey, no pun intended. Um, but, you know, I really didn't feel like taking a picture 
and when all of the mountains were lighting up at sunset I really wasn't that bothered I was just I just want to sleep I was up at five o'clock this morning because um, we did that big hike that was last week's video I did that as a separate video um, but yeah so when I'm when I'm tired what I find is when I'm really tired and it's been a long day I'm I'm far less creative so I'm not I'm not looking for stuff as much I'm not seeing as much I'm not being inspired as much I'm you know this tree I saw where is it there it is that tree is you know, simple, obvious, for me anyway. Uh, so that's why it was worth shooting. And I'm glad I did, I feel feel much better about it now, but honestly I could easily have just pulled over and had a nap. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't really know what I'm saying with this video uh, now. I guess it's time for me to go. Yeah, I'm gonna um, pack away now, which I've already kind of done, go back to the van. Um, and then I'm gonna drive elsewhere, so I'm gonna leave Glencoe. So next week, when I... <sighs> Sorry about that guys, the uh, battery died halfway through filming there. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave Glencoe now, tonight. Um, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going to go. Uh, I have a few ideas. I'm going to go have some food, maybe chill out for a bit, have a look on the old Google and... And yeah, probably drive further north. So, make sure you come and tune into my channel next week. Um, and wherever I lay my van that will be my home. Where I lay my hat, that will be my home. So I'll wake up at sunrise tomorrow, hopefully with a beautiful view, hopefully with nice weather. <laughs> we'll see. All of that's questionable at this moment in time. Um, but yeah, if you like this video and all that stuff, and you know, subscribe. I don't know why I say this at the end of the video. It's far more effective for me to stay at the start, but I just never bother. So I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. It's been a long day for me. Hopefully this hasn't been a long video for you. But yeah, I'll see you next time somewhere in Scotland. Bye for now. So once again, I needed to put the images at the end of this video in order to let you guys know that this video has indeed been sponsored by Squarespace. They're a great website where you go on and build your website. Yeah, pretty good. Uh, I can do it and I don't know anything about code or web designing or tech or anything. So if you need a website, go to squarespace.com forward slash heaton and give it a free try. By the way, how are you liking the um, images at the end of the video? I'm actually thinking of making this a regular thing because sometimes people say, that, um, that the images, you know, that they don't get to see the images long enough on screen and I've had a few suggestions that I've popped them at the end of the video as well, so I might start doing that. Um, anyway, I digress. Uh, where was I? Yes, free trial, squarespace.com forward slash heaton and only if you like, 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 bleh, bleh, only if you like your free trial and you think it's good and, and you're happy, then go ahead and use the off code heaton for 10% off your first purchase. So, yeah, I'm definitely going now. Thanks so much for watching and bye for now.